Welcome to a new video. This video is a part of a series on corrosion in fertilizer industry. In the fertilizer industry, there are four main areas of concern. First is the production of the fertilizer, particularly urea in our case. Next is the storage. The third is the transportation. And the fourth is the field application. So we will try to tackle a little bit of each in this series of videos. Let's start with the first one. Now in the production stage, there are a few more sub steps. First step in production usually starts with the desulfurization. The motive of desulfurization as the name suggests is basically to remove the sulfur. So where does this sulfur come from? The start is the feedstock which is the raw material which is used to make the ammonia, the hydrogen and the feedstock talk usually is petroleum now petroleum comes along with some impurities among other impurities there are two major ones one which may be water which has come during the extraction so it can be produced water and the next is the elemental sulfur There are a few more as well, but we are majorly concerned about talking about elemental sulfur in this case because that is the kind of petroleum that will be used in the fertilizer industry. So this petroleum with the elemental sulfur is stored in tanks. These tanks are usually made of carbon steel and the pipelines which are used to transport the petroleum from the feedstock to the process desulfurization process uh, is through pipelines which are also of carbon steel. Now where does this problem come? Now usually carbon steel is selected because it has less severe response to sulfur which means that the sulfur attack will be less. However, what is this elemental sulfur attack and why, why is this especially important? How does the elemental sulfur attack actually happen? I will talk about the mechanisms in the upcoming parts. Please visit my website corrospective.com for online courses which are affordable basic and simple to understand please also check out my blog which has additional information as well as quizzes to practice your knowledge on coatings cathodic protection corrosion and chemical treatment like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you